Hey everybody, this is Brian Geisel for Geisel Software. I know we're all going through this COVID-19 stuff. Let's go through it together. So I'm here, I'm gonna to try to put out a series of videos, at least one video, to give you some help where I can on all of this um, and some encouragement, because you know what? We are gonna get through this. Uh, we're gonna be better on the other side, um, no matter what happens in the middle of this. And, uh, and let's do it together. So this first video, I wanna address small business owners and nonprofits specifically. There's a lot of stuff in the past few weeks that have come out for small businesses and for nonprofits. And I want you to be aware, you really need to know about these, these programs that are available. I, I happen to have been on a call with President Trump two Fridays ago, which is very informative, very helpful, and even inspiring about what was to be coming out of Congress uh, to help the stimulus bill. And now it has since come out last Friday and now there, were some inf there was some information about a new program uh, that was put in this latest bill, uh, the PPP, the Payroll Protection Plan Program, p -p 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 something, something starts with a P. Anyway, it's the PPP, uh, and that is especially helpful to small businesses and probably nonprofits. So I, I wanna make you aware of that and give you some quick details about it. You have to find out the, the deep details online or reach out to me if I can help you with any of those um, separately. But I wanna give you the quick overview so you know about some of the stuff available. So for those of you with employees and you as a sole proprietor, this may be helpful to you. There is uh, a sick time uh, allowance or, or a tax credit basically that's come down from the federal government that you can take up to 10 days of sick time or up to 12 weeks in another program that's slightly different and how they work those amounts varies uh, but effectively you're allowed to take a dollar for dollar tax credit for employees that take that tax time that um, that sick time and they can even take it i think they get paid two-thirds of their normal pay um, up to a certain amount it's capped to take care of dependents so for example if your kids are out of uh, school or daycare because of COVID-19, then this could also apply to you. Uh, it ends up not costing the employers anything, not just because it's a dollar for dollar tax credit, because cash flow is king, right? Cash flow is everything. What they're doing is they're letting you take it out of your monthly um, tax payment, your monthly payroll tax. You're allowed to deduct the amount that you paid to employees for those sick time programs. So. I don't have time to get into the depths of that in this, this video, I'm not sure I could, but I want you to be aware so that if you as a sole proprietor need that or if your employees do, you may be able to do that as opposed to furlough or laying them off or something um, because the dollars are flowing through quickly to you for that. Uh, the second one is the EIDL. Now this is a loan program. It's an emergency something disaster loan. And let's not get hung up on whatever the I is, shall we? Um, it, the key is a couple of things. It's up to $2 million. The first six months of uh, payments are made for you by the federal government, the SBA or the Treasury. I don't care as long as somebody's paying for it. Uh, they're making the first six months of payments for you. Uh, you need to check some things just in terms of that's up to the amount of payroll or the amount of expenses that you have or, or what have you. Um, so it, it does have some stipulations on it. You should look into that yourself. I'm not your tax advisor, your legal advisor, your uh, CPA, your marriage counselor, your financial advisor, and so on. Um, I'm just here to make you aware of them and then you can go find out. And the, the rules on some of these might be different by the time you find out. So go look at them, but I will tell you across the board, the SBA is making these programs very easy to get into where you normally have collateral required for the loans. You must personally sign for the loans. They're pushing those limits much higher. So you can get a much higher limit, uh, loan without a personal guarantee, without any collateral. Uh, they've expanded the definition of small business. In fact, they've even included nonprofits. If you're a 501c3, you're included in that. Other types of nonprofits may also be included. Now, that's out of my space that I don't necessarily understand. But 
uh, if you're a nonprofit, then you can go look at the language or check with your CPA. Certainly, they should have a handle on that. The IDL loan, the other thing about it is the first $10,000 you can ask for as an advance that you do not have to repay. So you should do that. Um, again, as long as you don't misappropriate those funds, uh, then that $10,000 is $10,000 that you get to keep, even if for some reason you were denied the loan, you get to keep that initial $10,000. So go forth and do, pause the video, go apply for the EIDL advance. Um, it's on the SBA's website right now. They say it's about two and a half hours to fill out the form. There is a new form that as of this video is up, it took me less than 10 minutes. I did have a profit and loss statement by my side, but I happen to know my address and my name by heart. It's a really simple form. You know, you should probably go fill that out quickly. Um, the next one is the PPP, the Payroll Protection Plan or something. Uh, and that is up to two and a half months of payroll expenses is the amount you're able to request for that loan. Now you hear a lot of people calling it a grant because in in many cases, I don't know if I can say most, probably in most cases, it's fully forgivable, meaning it will function like a grant. It's just free money to take care of your people. The federal government is trying to make sure you don't lay people off. So if you lay people off, it's gonna uh, decrease the amount of that loan you can have forgiven. They're basically trying to give you the money for all of the salaries of all of your people for the next two and a half months. So. Uh, that, the way you calculate it happens to be from 2019's um, taxes. There are some other things. If you're a seasonal business or you're a new business, there's options there also. So again, they're trying to make this a lot easier to get into. R just simple, it's two and a half times your monthly payroll is the total amount that you're allowed to apply for. And then for the eight, first eight weeks of the loan, you can spend that money on your payroll on your uh, rent or your mortgage interest payments or utilities. And all of those things that you spend it on, you just account for those at the end of that period and that whole portion of the loan is forgiven, which can be up to the entire loan and the interest payments of the loan. The loan interest, by the way, on that one is 1%. Uh, as of this video, it, it was originally four, then it was a half percent. As of right now, it's 1% is the, the final guidance that I've seen on that. Uh, and as I hear so far, you can apply for both the EIDL and the PPP. If you've already been given an EIDL, they're having you roll that into the PPP loan. So if you did already get an EIDL loan, you should look at that. If you didn't, then you don't have to worry about that portion of this. Um, but I would encourage you to very much look at the, the, um, the PPP the payroll protection plan. It also includes you if you're a sole proprietor, even if you don't have a corporation, even if you're just a 1099, you know, you get paid by your clients on 1099, you still count as a small business and even your payroll, your own payment that you take as a sole proprietor counts for this, uh, capped at $100,000 a year. So if you made $80,000 a year uh, last year, divide that by 12 to figure out what that is a month times um, two and a half is the total amount that you could get that loan for. And again, 100% of that loan could be forgiven. Take a look into the specific details, but it, it is really good. There are a lot of great options there. So uh, small business owners and nonprofits, I hope this was helpful to you. If there are specific questions I can answer, feel free to reach out to me. Definitely reach out to your bank. The PPP is made through your bank. So you should go talk to your local bank and make sure they're participating in the program. Uh, my local bank here in Worcester, Massachusetts, Central Massachusetts is Unibank. I'll give them a plug if you happen to be here in Massachusetts and don't have a bank. These guys are, are phenomenal. They've been amazing to us. Uh, and they are up and running as of today, Friday, uh, April 3rd. Not every bank is up and running with the program yet. They'll be on board quickly, I'm sure, but Unibank is already on board with it. Uh, they've been very helpful to us. So I, I'll put a, a shameless plug in for uh, a bank that's been great to us if you don't have one. But if you do have an SBA approved lender, go talk to them. Some of the other lenders are, are uh, welcome to. Really, this bill has opened up a lot of things. Anyone under 500 employees is considered a small business 
across the board. They included nonprofits. They, it's, there's a lot of inclusivity in this. Um, don't feel like, oh, this can't possibly be true or there's no way I could get to it. Um, you're hearing about this early uh, and I would recommend you go take a look at those programs and, and um, seriously consider what may help you out um, as we all go through this COVID-19 stuff together. And I want you to know, even if you don't know me, hey, I'm here with you as a small business. I'm going through this too. You know, we're making sure we keep our people on payroll, doing everything that we can to, to keep that up and, and keep, keep things moving, keep our economy moving. Uh, and so if there's any way I can help you, I would love to, to be of help to you. Um, but certainly reach out to your financial advisors, your tax advisors, your CPA, um, your, your, um, your lender, your, your bank is going to be tremendous help, tremendously helpful to you in this, especially with the PPP. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful to you. And uh, remember, you're not alone. We're all going through this together. And you know what? We're all going to make it through. So I'm here cheering for you. Hope I can help you a little bit with, with some of this knowledge. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to all of us coming out smiling on the other side of this. Mm -hmm.